Hello everybody, Atlas here. So let's jump into this. So when you open 3D code, you're presented this particular start screen. What I wanted to do is just to go into the voxel sculpting. Here we can pick a sphere. I try to pick a medium-sized sphere. And you can switch between sculpting room and modeling room and texturing, painting room, rendering. And I will talk about each room in depth in the future. However, for now, let's stick to the sculpting room and I will talk about the basics of the UI here. And what we see on the left, we have our brushes menu. So we can cycle through the view of this menu. I usually prefer just the plain text, but for the time being, I'll keep it a little icon and the text. Then we have our alphas right here. And you can switch between different packs. And I've brought uh, my pack here, hard surface alphas. Then you can switch between the steps to look for other tools. In the middle, we have our shaders, and I really like to switch them and try different looks. And then we have our oh, subgroups here. Pick a metal like that, a color palette for drawing. Then we have our skull tree, and skull tree is really important because all our layers are here, and right now the window is tiny. So what I like to do is I want to put a drag and drop it over there, and it will stick to it. And now I have plenty of space to have a lot of layers, a lot of objects there. And a lot of other stuff we can talk about in the future. Then we have this menu at the top. It duplicates a lot of functionality here. So you can pick the shaders, uh, can pick the primitives. The reason it is there, because if I press tab, I can enter, enter the full screen mode. And then I can also go back and pick stuff without accessing the uh, full-on menu right here. Another thing you can do if you're in a full screen mode, if you press spacebar, it will have this, uh, all the brushes that will be here and all other uh, tools will be here. So you might prefer using this as well. If you lose any panel, you can go into the windows, panels, and pick a panel that's been lost. So then, Whatever workspace you create, whatever layout you create, usually 3D code remembers it and it will be the same next session. However, you can also go into the windows and say store the workspace. That will be stored to your uh, to the file. If you navigate to any button and just hover around for a few seconds, it will show you what this stuff does and how to change a hotkey. It's really easy, you press end, and then you essentially type the hotkey you want. I will press escape because I don't want to save any hotkeys there. And then once you have your hotkeys, you can go and save hotkeys to a file. And I definitely recommend that because that's something I load up all the time to the new 3D code. If you have uh, hotkeys from the old 3D code versions, they might not be compatible with the new 3D code. That's a bit of an unfortunate thing, so I had to redo a bunch. One thing to note, the hotkeys across each room are the same. And it's pretty incredibly inconvenient. And I've been asking 3D code devs to change it to make it like in Blender that every room has its own hotkey set. Then we have our sub menus. And what I mean is that when I ch change the tool here, you will see different options at the top. And they're pretty important for every particular tool. And I will be going more over them when I will be talking about particular brushes and stuff that I use. Not that's relevant now. Another one. One of the submenus that we I'll be using a lot, if I press E, it will open me different options for the brushes. So I can now draw that like that. I can draw with the rectangular. It doesn't really do much here just because it's not meant for this particular brush. And that's an uh, important menu as well. If I press if I press S, there will be a symmetry option available. We can play around, and symmetry by itself is a big subject. Then I can go, I have different hotkeys. I have a Shift S, but if by default it is S, and you can change it here. These are the basics for the UI. So thank you for watching, and join me for the next video. I will talk about camera and navigation.